Oh, whatever you want there. Fabulous. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, welcome to you, Rick. Oh, my goodness, the first time we've met this morning, you just got here. Five first time we've met this morning, haven't it? Five hours on the road to get it. Hang on, kids, the top pop star's talking. Yes. <laughs> uh, Rick, I was saying, we read uh, various reports last Hi, week. Hi, Mum. Hello, everybody. We read various reports in the press last week about John leaving. Can we hear from you what exactly happened? Um, well, we went out to Switzerland to record the new album, and uh, I think John had genuinely had enough of, uh, of what, was, what was happening, you know, he just didn't seem to have any enthusiasm anymore, and it really was apparent that he wanted to go home. Yeah. God, I'm tired. <laughs> um, yeah. So that was it. I mean, he just upped and left, and he was gone that day. So it left us in a bit of a predicament, you see, because um, we're in the, we're going to start an album. There's nobody, nobody that played drums. So what did you do? Hold on, hold on. Excuse Hi, me, mate. camera one, two, and three. Oh. I've got an important joke here from a little girl called Diane Spencer. She writes in saying, oh, What's got blue blood, four legs, and lives in a palace? Oh, no, no, no. What's got blue blood, four legs, and lives in a palace? A royal corgi. Well done, oh, yeah. Diane. Well done. Yeah. Elegant before that oh, interruption. You were saying it did leave you in rather a, a bit of a, a spot, actually. Yeah, well, up and gone, yeah. We, we, um, we, we knew of a drummer who we knew quite well, you know, and we knew, knew how he, he played, a guy called Pete Kershaw. Yeah. And he was our first sort of uh, choice to stand in and see us through the album, you know, so. Will the sound change much on the album as a result? No, you think? no, no. So we phoned Pete, Pete came out and. Um, <laughs> He completed the album with us, which was, you know, at such short notice, it was really good of him. What about, uh, you're planning a tour, well, I mean, it's 20 years, as we were saying, of celebrations, and you're planning a rather special tour, aren't you, this year? Where are you going to be going? Well, rumour has it um, that we're going to be going to Australia, India. That's only yes. rumour has it. Rumour has it, yeah. Nice. Right. Australia, India, and <coughs> then we come back to Europe, maybe Japan, maybe America. And of course know. you are... And of course England. And what are you going to do about finding a drummer? Are you looking, you're looking at the moment? Well, yeah, there, there is a, a short list yeah. uh, of two or four drummers, and I uh, hope to be able to make an announcement fairly soon. We can't say for sure oh, at the moment. Not, no. of course. Uh, we, we've talked about, I was talking earlier about Good the, the last 20 <coughs> years. I mean, uh, how many more years can Quo go rocking on? I don't know. I, I always maintain that as, as long as you know we've got an audience there and we still feel physically fit enough to mm. do it, yes. as it were, you'll, you'll carry um, on. We'll carry on. Yeah. Well. Excuse now, me. You've got some goodies. Uh, excuse me. Can yes. I interrupt? Um, can no. I thank Mr. Parfit for getting here? Oh. Yes. But I'm intrigued no to know who, who, who the man in the mask is. Who is the man in the mask? My dad. Hi, oh, what's your name? <laughs> Lee, it's Lee. Separately, it's Lee. Uh, Mr. Parfit, Hello. having battled his way up the motorway, has bought some really good, really good oh, goodies. What as have you got ever, there? What as have you got? ever. Good fun. Got jackets. Two yeah. jackets, yes. Jackets. Lovely. Things like that. There's the... Uh, the status uh, book. The book, which will, will be signed. A gold oh, album. A gold album of Pile Driver, which I talked about in the tribute. There we are, a gold album well, of right? Pile Driver. Mm. I tell you what, in the tribute, I actually... That's signed on the back. That's signed on the back. That's super, that's a lovely prize. Actually, in the tribute uh, to Quo just now, uh, I did actually reveal the date that Rick joined Status Quo. So can you actually write in with the date that Rick joined the Status Quo? And can you think of another question? That you were wrong, though, weren't you? Was it the wrong date? <laughs> According to your book, that's the date it said. Oh, the book's wrong. The then. book's wrong. So your the biography the book. is wrong. OK. All right. All right, then, the real date that you joined, not the one that's in the book, apparently that's wrong. Parrot. Entries to our new address, which will be coming up in the Stop it! Surely the he's a superstar! Stop it! So, well, oh, actually, thankfully we can leave this because I've just had word that something oh, rather exciting is happening over the other side of the studio. Let's go straight across now to find out what is happening. <laughs> over to you, Heathers. Good, it's good. Over there! <laughs> Over at the other side of the studio, by the cage, where you can see we have been greeted by some more British Rail employees who are late. Late, maybe because of the weather, maybe because of something else. But uh, because of the adverse weather conditions, we are about to launch another aerial cameraman to take a high view of the situation. All right? OK, Nelly Cameron, are you ready? Right, Shades, commence a countdown. I'll do the countdown. Ten, nine, eight, seven... He's not looking that good. Yeah. In fact, I think he's looking pretty sick.
I'd better move over from over here. He's looking pretty ill, really. Yeah. Yeah. Can you see from up there? Yes, the outlook is pretty grim. There's, there's a deep trough over the cage, and it's full of custard. Yes, it's full of custard. There will shortly be a deep depression over Nelly Junction. Yes, and here it comes now! Yeah.